Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. So in the last couple of videos, we're talking about custom titles. Now in this video, I want to talk about how we save a title. Uh, I probably could have talked about it in the last video, uh, but I also want to talk about deleting a save title and it's kind of tricky. So for the sake of the tutorial, just come up with something. I've got my title up here and we'll call it uh, Hello World. That's pretty universal. That works for everybody. Let's go ahead and double click on this and let's drag it and we'll pull it to the right hand side. Quickly, I'm just gonna give it a, give it whatever you want, we'll give it, I don't know, something like that. And we'll just assume that this is the greatest title in the world and that I'm just moving things around. This, I would not use this, but for the sake of the tutorial lighting, okay, now we're definitely kind of getting into it. And say we just wanted to save that. So what we do is to save it, we click on this bar right here, just like that. Now save all format and appearance attributes. That's what we want to click on and we'll just call it hello. We'll call it world hello. Hello, just like that. So, so now click on this right here and you've got all of our custom titles that we've saved right here just by clicking save all format and appearance attributes. But how do we get rid of these? You can't just do like hit delete on the keyboard it's actually kind of intricate. Um, when you're done with these and you want to get rid of them, here's what you do. You go to, let's go ahead and minimize this. Now go ahead and click on go right here and we need library to show up. How do we get library to show up? Go ahead and hold option down on your keyboard just like that and then library comes up out of nowhere. See there? Option, library. Click on that. Now we're going to take the long way home. From go, we're going to go to application support and motion, we're gonna to go to library, and then text styles, just like this. And here is my custom titles that I've saved, but now I wanted to, to delete. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab these, and I'm gonna pull them to the trash can, and I'm gonna clear my trash can. Do you wanna permanently do this? Yes, now these should not be here. If they're still here, you might wanna go ahead and close uh, the Final Cut Pro program and then open it back up. So that's what we're gonna do because we can see that these are still there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and quit this. And this is the best way that I have found out how to delete custom titles in Final Cut Pro 10. If anybody has any uh, alternative course of action, please go ahead and post that to the comment section below. I'd love to hear about it. Uh, I feel like I'm taking the long way home and there might be a shortcut. And that's kind of the gist. So let's click on that. And we have no more of our custom styles, custom titles saved, just like that. Hopefully this made sense. Good luck with this. In the next video, we're gonna talk about keyframing custom titles to create animations. All right, guys, good luck, and I'll see you over there.